<laughs> yeah, nigga, like, you know what's good, nigga. You know what's up with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you a bad bitch, you get your ass ate, period. Don't ever let no nigga tell you differently. What's going on, y'all? It's your favorite little mommy, Lay Binks. I'm here with Trashy, and I'm ready to talk some motherfucking trash. What's an instant red flag? A nigga who don't got his nails done. I don't do niggas who nails got dirt in them. Like, get the fuck out my face. Would you rather date someone with a nine to five or someone who scams and traps? Um, I take me a nine to five nigga over a scammer and a trapper any day. Because you gotta think about it, right? A trapper is living that lifestyle where he wanna run with the hood, joints and all them dirty little girls. Like, I'm not one of them. And I'm not about to act dumb or dippy, so I'd rather work, work, fuck with a guy that's working a nine to five. Like, fuck are you talking about? I don't care, I don't gotta explain myself. What's the worst fashion trend ever? Oh my God, them fucking boots. Them red Mario Kart shoes. Throw them the fuck away, throw them away. I hate those shits. You will never catch me wearing them. Do you fall in love fast? Aha, does na 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 make them fall in love fast? I don't fall in love fast though. You understand what I'm saying? Story of your first kiss. I love you, Rashawn! <laughs> All right, so I had to be, I think, 12 at the time, and my best friend lived on the block around the corner from me, and it was this little boy that lived down the street from her. His name was Rashawn. And she told me Rashawn had a little crushy crush on me. Mind you, I never kissed a boy. I've never been with a guy or nothing like that. I'm only 12. So, you know, he come outside. He like, you want to be my girlfriend? I'm like, yeah, I'll be your girlfriend. Hi, hi, ki, ki, ki. More to the story. We was like, all right, so we going to kiss? And we was like, all right, let's do it for three seconds. And we kissed for three seconds. It wasn't even one of them. It was one of them like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? One of them silent three second pecks. Name a song that reminds you of your ex. Ugh. Fuck that nigga, fuck, fuck that nigga. Give me that cash, I'm not mad, man. Put some ice on my neck, can't, like, fuck that nigga. I love you, baby. I'm cheating, and I'm the reason. Do you give the N-word pass to your non-black friends? Fuck no, don't ever come around me trying to say that shit. Like, I don't play that shit. Whether you white, Puerto Rican, I don't care what you are. You come around me saying nigga, and you're not a nigga, I'ma just have to look at you with the side eye like, bro, be fucking for real right now. You know the color of your skin. You know what you are. I'm not even about to fuck. Like, don't fuck around. Get the drop. Don't we spend until we dizzy. Would you take a cheater back? Huh? Trashy, you trying to fuck with me? Because you think I'm a slick ass bitch, don't you? Hi. Y'all already know my history. Y'all know my past, man. Fuck that nigga. I'm never taking no cheater back again. What? I was never no weak bitch. Fuck is you talking about? Whatever I did in the past don't mean nothing, it's the past. Do you believe in taking breaks in a relationship? No, ain't no breaking up, bitch, we take breaks. Hoes be waiting on the side again in the game. I kick that bitch to the curb in the mid. I, we're not taking no breaks in none of that. Like, no, I don't believe in breaks. We're gonna talk it out, figure it out. If you need a day, cool, but that's all you get. What are you, talk, what are you taking a break for so you can go talk to other bitches? Next. Can your man smoke hookah? That's a little sassy, like, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm not the type of girl to be like, oh, you in a club, you take a little puff puff of the hookah, you a, you a little, but it's a, it is a little sassy to me, but we are in a sassy man apocalypse, so you know. The men going into their soft girl era, these niggas need to tighten the fuck up. Like, put your big boy pants on, don't nobody want no soft ass nigga. I'm gonna tell you right now. And that don't mean you gotta be from the trenches. That don't mean you gotta be in the streets or whatever. I need me a man who can make me feel secure in my femininity. I wanna feel like I could surrender myself to you. Like you could take full sense of dominancy and I could just fall back and be a pretty bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Like, but you know, niggas wanna be soft or whatever the case may be. You ain't the nigga for me. What's a deal breaker for you to have on a first date? Oh my God. If we in the car, nigga, you know who you is. You get out the car, and as you getting out the car, I see your ass crack. <laughs> if I see a little booty crack and that little black ass butt as you getting out the car, yo, I'm never talking to you again. That's a deal breaker. Like, I'm blocking the shit out you. Next. What's the worst thing a guy can ask you after sex? 
So you still gonna talk to them niggas? Ha! Yeah, you can eat this butt though. <laughs> yeah, nigga, like, you know what's good, nigga. You know what's up with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you a bad bitch, you get your ass ate. Period. Don't ever let no nigga tell you differently. Have you ever talked back to your mom? I have, and I regret it deeply because I love my mom to death, and she doesn't deserve that. Shout out my mommy. I love you. Don't watch this interview, it's a little inappropriate. It's your favorite little mommy Lay Banks here and I just wrapped it up with trashy. Y'all know what's going on. We was talking that trash. <laughs>